Hi, I'm Justin Kennington coming to you from the SDVOE booth at Infocom 2017. Uh, I'm here in front of our Codex Shootout demo station. We're showing off the differences between SDVOE as a transport solution and some of the other compression and transport codecs that exist out there on the market. Our system that we have hooked up today is really very simple. Uh, this is a standard Windows desktop PC outputting an image at 4K30. Uh, we'd love to give you this demo at 4K60, but frankly, we couldn't find the competitive products that could support that format. So the PC outputs 4K30 into an HDMI four-way splitter. Each leg of that splitter then feeds into an encoder-decoder pair. One of them is based on SDVOE technology. One is an H.264 encoder. We have an MJPEG 2000 solution. And finally, a VC2 codec. And what I want to highlight and show you today is the differences in video quality and also latency that exist between these solutions. If you look at the SDVOE solution, you'll see that the experience is very much like being directly connected to the computer. This is because SDVOE has zero latency and, and uses no compression for 4K30 signals. So this really is like being there. As I start to move these windows around, you'll notice the significant differences in latency between these different codecs. That's because each of them spends a certain amount of time encoding and decoding the signal. As you also look more closely at the images, you'll see that there are some real degradations in image quality. I'll try and point some of these out to the camera now. If you look at the VC2 codec, you can see that it's using 420 subsampling, and that's evident in these rotating patterns of color on black. You'll see what should be even diagonal and multi-angled lines turns into these jagged messes. That happens with H.264, it happens with VC2. With MJPEG, you start to see this, and this may be very subtle for the camera, you start to see this pattern on the inside where you get these sort of more effects uh, that really shouldn't be there. Most importantly, and unfortunately I can't show you this on video, the latency really has a big effect on usability. When I tell someone, oh, look at the, look at the latency performance, they'll very often come, wiggle the mouse, and say, oh, I'm wiggling the mouse, and the window's wiggling, everything seems fine. Then I tell them, okay, now, click that tiny little button right there. And on the SDVOE system, it's very easy to do. You know how to use a computer. You move the mouse, you click the button. When you have too much latency in the system, you get this sort of drunken mouse effect, and it becomes very difficult to get your mouse pointer to land on the button you want. There we go, I got it. When a system is optimized for video, for example, and not for graphical data, and there's a high complexity graphical change, sometimes the latency can really blow up. Focus on the bottom left monitor here and the VC2 codec that was built and designed for broadcast video. You'll see that in high complexity graphics changes, there can be a truly embarrassing amount of latency. And now the image goes away. So that's what I wanted to show you here at our codec shootout station at the SDVOE booth. And I wanted to demonstrate that with zero latency and zero compression, only SDVOE can deliver the performance of a matrix switch with the flexibility and scalability of an Ethernet network. Thanks.